Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim Skogwell and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can make shadows for your composites. This is just one of many ways you can do it. This is the quick and dirty, quick easy way to do it. There's really not much to it but to do it. I would highly appreciate it if you like this tutorial, if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, that way you get notified next time I post content. It might be a couple of uh, days or a little while until I get to do it. I'm, uh, like I said in my uh, earlier video, I'm about to try and build myself a new computer so I can make this, uh, make more and better videos. So here we are back inside of Affinity Photo again and this is gonna be how I make simple shadows. It's just pretty quickly if it's not too complicated like the subject or what you're trying to do. So the first thing you want to do is just make a new layer. And we're going to make a shadow on this guitar here or this um, mandolin, uh, ukulele, whatever it is. Uh, so it gets a little bit more three di dimensional, this picture. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to click on command, uh, control click on the subject. So we see we have it marked out. I'm going to press I on the keyboard, that's going to get us our color selection tool. And we're going to bring a little bit of the darker brown color in here. And I'm going to hit B again for the brush tool and then X to change the colors up here. And we're just going to make a bigger brush size. And basically now all we got to do here is paint. And I can move this just top so we can see it better. And as you can see, once we get this uh, filled in here, we're gonna have it pretty decently filled in all there. We're gonna hit V on the keyboard for the move tool, and then we're gonna command Control D to deselect. And now we can move this just a little bit further behind, and then hold down uh, Option. We're gonna. So now we're going to be pretending that the there's a little bit of, of a light source coming this way. So coming from where we're looking at is straight on. But you see that doesn't look too great. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to go, uh, uh, not dark, and we're going to go up here to overlay or soft light probably. Soft light is good. You can see now it's it still looks a little bit darker than than the background and it's you can see that there's a shadow but it's a little bit harsh what we're gonna do we're just gonna move it uh, pretty much like so that makes it looks like it's a little bit of a distance so from the wall there that's good but the shadow is a little harsh so I'm going to make this shadow here just a little bit darker so we can see better what it is that we're doing. I'll do it like that for now. That way we see what it is we are doing. Now we can go on here and put on a live filter. And then we're going to go into box blur. And see what happens to if we take it up a notch here. You can see it starts blurring the edges there. That looks pretty good for a diffuse light. Now we're gonna just close that out. And we're gonna go up here again. And we're gonna go another uh, layer. We're gonna mark that one. Then we're gonna go over here to our gradient tool. We're just gonna go like so. This side is gonna be black. So we need to go all these over to the left. And then this side is gonna be white, so all the way over to the right. And then we can I can smooth it out just a little bit, like so. And now we're going to go back here in linear light, soft light. Right. 
hit move here. Oop, that was the wrong one. It didn't take. That might be a little bit too. There you go. That's there we have the shadow. And you can see how relatively quick and easy that was. It just takes a little bit of placing here and you can move it around after and just where you want the light to come from. So if I turn it off and on again, you're gonna be you can see there we created a lot more dimension to to this picture. But this up here is a little bit too harsh because that part is further away than over here from the wall. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually hit B on a brush tool. We're going to make sure we switch over to black. We're going to have opacity here of about 40, something like that. And we're just going to go and gently strike that out. Make sure we don't have anything up top because now the light is coming. Um, let me draw it in here. So now the light would be coming from from this direction here. And you can see if I turn it off and on again here that we have made a pretty decent shadow.